Carl, great to have you. Um, firstly, how does it feel being in Zimbabwe um, for another episode? And right now, your guys are facing the World Cup qualifier, and you sent a chance to qualifying for the World Cup. How, what's the mood in the team, and how do you guys uh, feel about it? Uh, first of all, uh, thanks very much for having us. Um, uh, what a tournament we have ahead. Um, exciting times. Some quality teams, some quality players. Um, and some quality competition. So um, it's very special to be here in Zimbabwe and, and playing the qualifiers out here. Um, we are very lucky to to play the hosts as well. So that's going to be a special occasion. Um, so we're very much looking forward to it. The, uh, the prep has gone gone really well, albeit um, we've had uh, a little bit of rain around when before we arrived here in Zim in Pretoria, and once we arrived here, but. That's fine. That's uh, no different to any other team, and we we look forward to playing here. We've got some, been to some special grounds already, and we look forward to uh, playing the Irish here tomorrow in our last warm-up game. Well, Carl, has it taken any sort of adjustment for you guys? Uh, the, the the first few days I just spent in Zimbabwe, have you had to adjust to any, or you just used to these kind of conditions with the with the rain and all that? Uh, I think uh, it's pretty the same. Um. I guess wherever you go, there's a slight adjustment. Getting used to um, the surroundings is key. Um, I guess visually seeing the ground that you're playing at or the grounds that you're playing some of your games at. Um, getting used to that. Obviously, rain is something that uh, we've sort of become accustomed to over the years. Um, it isn't something uh, that uh, we we shy away from. You know, rain is, rain is what it is. It, it comes in, you've got to be able to uh, execute and and be prepared um, for whatever scenario you face leading into a tournament or during the tournament for that matter. So uh, yes, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll have faced the challenge maybe a few more times than others um, coming from Scotland, but um, yeah, no doubt the uh, competition will be really, really hard, well, well fought and uh, played in, in good spirits. Uh, Skipper, you have had uh, very close encounters against Zimbabwe. The most recent one being the 1-0 series in Edinburgh. How do you rate your chances this time around? You're playing Zimbabwe in Zimbabwe, and uh, you are in uh, quite a tough group. Yeah, that will add uh, an extra level to the uh, the competition. Obviously, uh, Zimbabwe have, have, have gained a few uh, players who have come back to play for them, which which will make it an extra special event. Um, playing Zimbabwe in 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 their home conditions is going to be a special occasion in itself. Uh, uh, needless to say, you know, it being in a World Cup qualifier as well is going to make that even more special. And uh, um, yes, I think um, the, the last series was one one all, um, but we we just expect the game to be um, you know played in, in good spirits and, and and a high quality game of cricket. Look, we we believe we're we're capable of. Um, uh, of, of beating Zimbabwe, which which we have done, like we said, just once previously, but um, it'll be a, a tougher a tougher challenge playing them in their home soil. Just talk us briefly through your preparations before you came here, and one, do you think they are adequate enough for you to win the competition, and if not, still qualify for the World Cup? Um, well, we spent about ten days in Pretoria. Um, and previous to that, um, the guys had a couple of weeks of, of indoor training following a tour to Dubai. So, um, yes, we've had some cricket. We've had, been outside, got some miles in the legs. Uh, unfortunately, there was a bit of rain around in Pretoria, stormy conditions. So, um, we uh, I think we got two occasions on grass, which uh, which maybe wasn't as much as what we would have looked for. But, um, you know, uh, as a team, we've got used to um, coming from indoor conditions to having to prepare to play ODIs in the space of three days. So, um, you know, for us, that, that is what we're used to. That is normality. So w we can't use that as an excuse. Um, uh, we've become very good at preparing and changing conditions um, as quickly as possible. So that's what we're going to have to do again um, while we're out here. But thankfully, we have had time and grass and um, some guys have got some runs and some overs under their belt. Um, so leading into these games, um, yeah, I think we'll, we're as ready as what we need to need to be. But peaking is a key thing about tournaments like this. You don't want to peak too early. You don't want to peak too late. So um, I think we're in a, in a good position now where, you know, we're just running into the tournament um, uh, just where we want to be. A good win against uh, PNG yesterday at, 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 at BAC. And you play another, another great opposition in Ireland in the, in the warm-up game tomorrow. 
What are you guys looking to achieve uh, against Ireland uh, before you play the qualifier? Well, first of all, um, yeah, a good, good, strong performance against PNG yesterday. Good to see uh, Matthew Cross getting um, his second hundred on the bounce um, following his last one in Pretoria. Um, Ireland, Ar the games against Ireland, there's always a rivalry there. It's never, it's never just a straightforward warm-up game. Um, there's a bit, usually a bit on the line, so uh, there should be some good intensity in tomorrow's game. Uh, again, good match practice is, is the key for us, but um, making sure we uh, set our stall out to get our, um, our plans in place and, and guys ready as possible for leading in our first game against Afghanistan. And obviously, seeing the conditions out here um, at Queen's, um, which will be our first day here today. So um, take any, any notes we can for today and take them in tomorrow. Any areas you feel that you can improve on from yesterday going into tomorrow? Well, I think um, always looking to try and take wickets. Uh, we were fortunate in the end to bowl PNG out yesterday. Um, we've had a, a few occasions of a couple of no balls and, and wides and things. You're always looking to tighten up in those areas, and we were a bit down in the field um, in terms of letting a few runs runs through. But it, these are things you always try and pay attention to. Uh, make sure you get them right, because at the end of the day, they could cost you 20 runs at the end of the day. So, um, you know, that's a, that's a pretty big margin. Um, every run you save is, uh, could be key to uh, winning a game. Okay, we'll take one last question. Uh, just looking at yesterday's game, um, uh, 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 you didn't mention your score. It was quite a good score, 46 or 43. It was quite a, a reasonable knock and as a batsman. Uh, did you guys feel that uh, the total posted by PNG was challenging enough for a 50 uh, over game? Um, or are you looking for a more challenging uh, score when you guys are... Uh, go up against Ireland tomorrow? Um, I don't think um, PNG would have been entirely happy with the, the, the runs that they put on the board, but um, we've got to take in consideration that um, Scotland did win the toss and we did put uh, PNG in, in quite friendly bowling conditions. Um, uh, without knowing the uh, conditions here, uh, too clearly just yet, it would be it would be hard to say exactly what a, a, a right score would be. But um, you know the standard of cricket played in this competition, you'd be you'd be surprised if it was any less than 250 on on most occasions because there's some quality players out here amongst all the teams. So um, yes, to your answer, I, I feel that uh, PNG score was below par, and we do expect the scores to to uh, mount up a little bit more than that.